Hello, my name is Alyssa Hyden, and I'm going to be talking about aposematic coloration. Aposematic coloration warns potential predators that you are bad tasting, toxic, or dangerous. Predators avoid animals with aposematic coloration instinctively or after having a bad experience. There are two types of aposematic coloration. Malarian mimicry, in which noxious species evolve to resemble one another, this reinforces to predators that they aren't to be eaten. The other type of aposematic coloration is Batesian mimicry, in which a species that is not noxious resembles species that are. This provides them with a greater chance at survival. By looking poisonous, they are less likely to get eaten. Behavioral Batesian mimicry is when non-harmful species behave like noxious species to intimidate or warn away predators. An example of behavioral Batesian mimicry comes in the form of black racer snakes that behave as rattlesnakes when they feel threatened. An example of malarian mimicry is the monarch and viceroy butterfly. Both produce noxious chemicals, causing predators to avoid them. Because of their similar coloring, it is easier for predators to remember they are both better left alone. Although it is slightly different than aposematic coloration, startle coloration is also effective in warding off predators. The key takeaway from this video is that species participating in malarian mimicry are truly dangerous, whereas species that are Batesian mimics only appear to look dangerous. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.